Hi. I know it's been a while since I made a video, but here we are. I was asked recently about a pipe I'm working on. Here we go. This is a blowfish that I'm working on, and I've started doing this new thing with inlays. And it has several different layers. There's maple, paduke, uh, ebony, purple heart, and... Uh, Yeah, that's it. All the inlays. And the question was asked, how well is it going to hold up over time? And I think the answer to that question is, well, pretty well, because there's furniture made out of all of those things, or having all of those things as inlays that have been around for decades, if not centuries. So the materials themselves should be fine. The question really is, what kind of materials uh, or what, what kind of glue and adhesive is going to hold up well over time. And it's a trade-off with any kind of adhesive. So for this experiment, what I've done is I took my inlay stack, which I have, oh, here we go. I have enough for about one more pipe. And I took the inlay stack, the same one that I used for that pipe, and I cut it into little sections here, about a quarter of an inch thick or so. And I'm going to apply different kinds of force and chemicals and heat and see what we can do to break them. <laughs> and see when we break them where they're going to break. Now I've already tried breaking it with my hands and there's simply not enough force here. Which leads me to believe if you're using a reasonable amount of force, uh, putting the pipe stem on or something, that's not going to break it. But let's try an excessive amount of force, like let's say you took a pliers and tried to pry off the end. And here's what might happen. There we go. It'll break. Imagine that. And where it broke on this, in this case, was between... It broke along the grain, except for between the ebony and the maple. Those two seem to need a little bit of additional help. Um, let's see if we can do it again. Oh, that time it just broke across. Let's try breaking it again. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not able to break that anymore. Oh, there we go. And this time it broke cleanly well, not so cleanly, between two different places. So, uh, bottom line, do not try to break your pipe with pliers. It's not a good idea, actually, I'm going to move those pliers out. Second test, I wanted to try some acetone. And acetone will often dissolve uh, different kinds of glues. So we're going to see if, this is nail polish remover by the way, acetone, and I just, I didn't pour it on my desk, I poured it on this little cup here, and we're going to just drop that piece in there. Again, these are three very similar pieces, and while that one is sitting in the acetone, I'm going to take my heat gun, all the way heat turned up, and we're going to try to dissolve with heat, make the glue, uh, completely break. Now, I would strongly suggest not taking a heat gun to your pipes because the heat is generally not a good thing, and if you put this much heat on it, the tenon is going to start to deform and it's going to get really loose. Um, and it's also going to start to burn here pretty soon, probably burn the surface of the wood. I can already see the moisture is coming out, which would not happen, by the way, if the finish is applied. I didn't take the time to put finish on here. But the finish will give it a little bit of strength. And uh, this is, I think, about 1600 degrees coming out of here. It's actually taking the finish off my table right now. And... We'll see how much longer it's going to take. I'm going to stop this once the wood starts to change a different color, because then I know that this is like going from the realm of what's going to happen if you leave your pipe in the car into the realm of 
What if I accidentally left this in a fire pit? And if you're going to do that to your pipes, I really don't want to sell them to you. Um, now you can see <laughs> it left a burn mark on my table, okay? And we're going to touch this very gingerly because it's very hot. And it does break apart. Well, it broke a little piece off. I can barely touch this. There we go. And again, I can peel off the ebony. Ouch. Um, yeah, so it's going to take a combination of heat and some kind of a force to dissolve the glue joint. But even that, most of it's fine. So don't put your pipes and 1600 degrees, and I think it'll do just fine. Um, the acetone is taking some color off that. I don't know how that's happening. It's interesting. The, uh, the water has a slight orangish tint to it. So here we go. And because this is a chemical, and I will wash my hands after this, but drying it off. And we're going to try the same thing again, see if the acetone has dissolved any of the glue. Nothing. I'm not able to pry it apart like I could with the heat. Um, maybe I'll leave it in there overnight and give an update sometime down the road. Now this is the only pipe that I have that uh, it's a factory pipe, and I guarantee you this has been around for a long time. I don't know what kind of glue they used to put the uh, shank extension on here. And I'm just going to go ahead and see if using the same kind of thing is going to cause this joint to fail in the same way. This is, by the way, brass and wood, and I have no idea what kind of glue they used. I'm just guessing that if I apply heat similarly, it's going to have an adverse effect on the shank extension. Now it is starting to melt the rubber part of the inlay. Let's see if, while well, it's hot, we can... Oh, there we go. Look at that. Whoop! Okay. So, here we go. Oh, and the rubber broke right there. And here comes the other piece of brass. So, there we go. This is a factory Stanwell and it's just been sitting around in my shop. I'll probably repair this at some point and uh, maybe resell it. Um, but there was nothing wrong with it except for it had been over-reamed. And I was just able to dissolve the shank extension with heat. So, in summary, <coughs> I'll pull up so you can see my ugly face. In summary, if you use an excessive amount of heat, you can break my shank extensions. If you put my uh, sh your shanks inside of nail polish remover and hold it there for a few minutes, which by the way, even if you're going to polish your nails while you're smoking a pipe, I don't know why you do that. I just want to try it one more time while I'm talking here. Um, and if you apply a great amount of force, like pliers, you can break them. Imagine that. Um, and I'm just taking those to exaggerate the normal, uh, the normal things that you would expect. And by the way, I'm not, this is the early stages, I'm still researching. I'll probably look for other glue alternatives that might make an even stronger joint. Yeah, I'm still not able to pry this piece apart. So, there you go. Uh, Hope that answers any questions you have about the inlay material. I think the same problems should be the same across all inlay materials. 
and uh, hope this was informative for you. Thanks for watching.